Welcome to this edition of Career Track. I'm Stacy Spanos. And I'm Daryl Hawks. We're here today to talk about just a few of the many exciting jobs out there for people without a college degree. Surprised? Well, don't be. A college degree isn't the answer for everyone and isn't required for every job, even those you might love to do. That's why many employers often look for other, less obvious qualities like dedication, perseverance, and a willingness to work hard. That's right. So if you're not college bound, what will you do after high school? Well, don't wait until graduation to start thinking about it. In fact, why not start right now? We've got the inside story on some of the fastest growing jobs in today's hottest fields. Like health care, retail sales, food service, and security. These industries offer a lot of really cool jobs, from nursing aides to sales associates, and one of them might be the perfect match for you. Your personality, your interests, your likes and dislikes, even without a four-year degree. That's exactly what happened to our first guest, who was looking for something that would combine a love of science with a challenging work environment, and ended up on a dream career track in the healthcare industry. Just watch. Modern medicine is made up of a much larger team than just a physician and a nurse. It includes specialists of all kinds, including those who work right here in the laboratory, where each member of the team shares the responsibility for the quality of human life, like a medical technician doing work that's meaningful and never boring. It kind of fell into it after high school. I started working for an MD and I worked for them for about five years. Then I went to work for a physical therapist. It was something I enjoyed and I liked, so I just decided to continue with it. Wherever special tests are needed, that's where you'll find medical technicians. In places like hospital labs, research facilities, doctor's offices, or nursing homes. So if you like science and are self-motivated, this might be the career for you. It takes a certain person, I think, to do it. You have to be very aware, very patient, very courteous and understanding for the patient and for the doctor's sake. The responsibility is a big part of this job. You're helping with the patient's charts, helping keep them in order with the doctor, reading them, finding what their new symptoms are, if they're getting any better, and you need this definitely to help in their health care and help provide them what they need. Becoming a medical technician really starts in high school, where you should study biology, chemistry, and math. And as more and more lab equipment becomes automated, computer skills are also a plus. These courses will give you the solid foundation you need to begin a training program right after high school, either at a hospital or a community college. You don't need a college degree to get started in this field. A lot of it's on the job training, helping the doctors teach you a lot, other staff members teach you a lot, and help you learn what you need to know to take care of a patient. 